Hi, my name is John Sennels and welcome to ZTech News. And today is episode 14. And today we're going to be talking about something interesting that I've been trying to get a hold of or understand something. I feel like I'm missing out in some surround sound uh, with the headphones. So what I decided to do is check out the Dolby Atmos at app. Um, that's uh, available on the Microsoft Store. Uh, I believe it's selling for, well, in Canadian, it's $18.99, and I think it's $14.99 in the U.S. So, what you need to do, uh, what, well, what you need to do, what I ended up doing is I wanted to test out to see how well the surround sound worked. Now, just regular two-channel stereo on your headphones is fine. It's perfect. It works great. But... Um, adding surround sound, like for instance, trying out some um, some Logitech headphones at work. Um, uh, we have some gaming machines set up, and we had uh, a Logitech station, and we set up. Uh, I think it's the G two thirty three, something like that. And there's their blue ones. Anyways, with built in uh, with built in Dolby and DTS audio, and I was quite impressed with the surround sound. Um, atmospheric sounds all around you if there's a cue of a sound on you know on this side of your head you know you spin your character around and it'll go right around your head which is very interesting and very cool actually especially uh, great a lot of gamers and and competitive gamers will know this that getting not only visual cues but audio cues can help you survive and play better in a game so when you hear somebody behind you you can whip around shoot them done game over uh, one of my favorite games, War Thunder, uh, which is an MMO that has tanks, airplanes, and now ships. Actually, the latest uh, download has, uh, has ships in it where audio cues are very important. You want to know who's sneaking up behind you, who's coming up down your side, especially, uh, especially on an airplane. You want to know who's behind you, who's shooting at you, and know, you know, so you can take a look where where the tracer bullets are coming from so you can bank left or right and get around and get on their ass and shoot them down now <clears throat> so i tried different things um first of all i downloaded the app and to do the, my testing i tried my cheapo asus republic of gamers headset this is roughly around 40 to 60 bucks depending if it's on sale or not my daughter's Diva, uh, Razer Diva headset, uh, which is sort of a step up from the other one. It's actually the sound quality in this thing is very good. It's surprisingly how good it is. But you know what? She's a Diva fan and she likes this. But I looked ridiculous trying this on. But I needed it to do to do it for my testing. And last but not least, my AKG uh uh, studio headphones that I use with my electronic drum set um, and critical music listening. I'm kind of an audiophile, um, so what I did was I used these in my testing too, just to give it more defined and better song quality. The bass is better on this, the highs are better on this. These are like excellent headphones. So I tried all these three with various games, uh, for instance, War Thunder, obviously, especially the airplane part. I tried out Half-Life 2. Yes, I know it's an old game, but I'm just trying to finish season or episode 2 on it. And also I tried Fallout New Vegas. Again, another older game, but that's okay with me. So those are the three games I tried. And then I tried a couple other games too. Uh, Everspace, another old game, sort of a roguelike, uh, roguelike space shooter game, which is a lot of fun. So that's what I went through. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, Dolby Atmos was, you know, promising what it was supposed to promise. Surround sound with a lot of atmospheric sounds, sounds from the front, sounds from the rear, sounds from the from the side, and sounds from on top. So if something passes over you, you can hear that coming over, which was, I think, it gives you more of an immersion. I mean, not only having a good monitor, you know, good uh, PC gaming per uh, peripherals, having a good head uh, headset... And using Dolby Atmos, you know, should give you the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the sound and the, uh, and the experience that you're looking for. That 
sort of being dragged into the game. You know, a lot of us gamers like that, especially adventure games. You want to be grabbed, brought into the game, and become that character and listen to what's going on in the environment. So that was interesting to try out. So downloaded the app, installed it. Um, you need to, for instance, once it's installed, what the one problem I didn't like about the Dolby, uh, Dolby Atmos app is you download it, you install it, you set it up, you right click on your speaker thing and there's spatial sound. So there's off. It comes, uh, it comes default with Windows Sonic for uh, Windows Sonic for headphones and then the uh, Dolby Atmos for headphones, which you can select and go from there. And that's all the setup it is. It installs, it does that. It would be nice if you can, if, <clears throat> if there was a test app where you can hear, you know, left channel, right channel, center channel, above channels, surround channels, and uh, rear channels. So you can get an appreciation how that is. I mean, it's unfortunate that they didn't, they left that out. It would have been cool as a test. Um, also, maybe an equalizer to, you know, boost up the shitty headphones and get them, you know, get a little more bass out of them or a little bit of uh, mid-range sound coming out of them so that's what i'd like to see next if dolby probably not listening because i'm not that popular but anyways the point is please add those extra functions it makes you know the 20 dollars that you spent on the software that much more configurable and that much more better it becomes worth it it becomes more tangible than just you know saying click there it is anyway that's just my idea so got it installed tried out these standard headphones and surprisingly enough um i was quite impressed with the sound not at first though i think my expectations were way 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 too high i was expecting i mean you know you can well right there see right there there's the rear surround and there's the side surround for my home theater my home theater is here in the basement so i was, I was expecting uh, something a lot more punchy more in your face but but when i thought about it you don't want that you want subtlety you want atmosphere hence the word atmos you want something to drag you into the game without being overwhelming and tiring and that was the thing that that caught me by surprise once i did my initial testings i went back and said okay let's forget about the 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 craziness the surround sound gimmicky stuff let's just go and see how we're pulled into the game and that's where Dolby Atmos shines, totally. It was very, very impressive in that sense. For instance, um, in War Thunder, listening to the engine noise fill the whole cockpit and then getting, you know, if a plane buzzes you overhead, you'll get that front to back sound coming over your head or even, you know, you'll get it, if they go under you, it doesn't go below, but you get it on the side. So you get that back and front thing. Um, when somebody's on your tail and they're shooting at you, you can actually hear, if the if they're close enough, you can hear the tracers go by your cockpit. Uh, for instance, another thing with Half-Life 2 I've noticed is that um, if there's a particular sound, like a machine buzzing in the background or something's going on, and if you turn your character around, that noise that's prominent in that scenario will go right around your head and give you that full immersion also um you know with those zombies that you get that come alive at you and there's quite a few jump scares in half-life 2 you get that uh you know you hear a zombie waking up to your left so you know right away behind that wall or behind that uh, it's not a wall but it was a a fence beside that fence there's a there is a, an enemy and you want to go around and shoot it so that was another impressive thing you know stuff behind you stuff off in the distance it's very very cool and it's very subtle but it pulls you into the game which is very important that's what i i really enjoyed um again fallout 3 totally atmospheric game to a game that you want to be brought into the wasteland with sounds in the in the distance robots walking around buzzing of the neon and stuff like that where you can hear it in the top left corner of your headphones or in your head here or top left, top whatever anyway and then when you move towards it it at the sound actually you know moves towards you in front of you which is very very i don't know it's satisfying it gives you that extra little bit of this is so cool and it's it's just totally enjoyable now 
Once I've tried the Razer Diva headset, the bass improved, the highs improved, and it gave you it gave you more of a clearer sound than than the um, uh, the Asus headphones. But then once I put these babies on, uh, the a AKG uh, Studio, and just to let anybody know if you're interested, these are K240s, and they're very very comfy. They're light, but they put out some phenomenal sound. And these were impressive, to say the least. It really gave you a sense of being there. It gave you a sense of the action. It gave you the sense of something's around the corner. Um, nice deep bass. Uh, the soundtrack to Fallout uh, New Vegas is just amazing and just fills your head with sound. Um, and also, here's another little thing. If you're not a big audiophile like I am, Imaging or stereo imaging is actually hearing um, instruments in midair, sort of invisible sounds that are, you know, you'll hear the drums in front of you, you'll hear a guitar here, you'll hear another, you know, another instrument over here, and sort of gives you, you know, an image of what the sound is. And this is, especially with good headphones, the imaging with Dolby Atmos, not only does it give you atmosphere, but stuff, sounds that are prominent, is just right there it's you can hear it it's this spatial thing around your head which is very important it's not you're not hearing the sounds in your head which is shitty speakers you'll hear it in your head good or headphones um uh, good headphones you'll get that imaging all around you it's like just wrapped around your head not in your head and it gives you that much more of an experience so now, is the $14.99 or the $18.99 worth it for Dolby headphone? In my opinion, it's a little bit more, it's too expensive. I tried, I have an MSI motherboard, which has virtual surround sound in it, which comes very, very close to what Dolby Atmos has. Dolby Atmos, I think with their algorithm, tends to pick up more of the ambient sounds and, and sort of produces the image for you. Uh, the the one with the MSI motherboard is okay. It's actually really good, but it's it, the Atmos has just one little step above that. So, is it worth it in that sense? Does your motherboard come with it? Does your system come with virtual surround sound? Do your headphones come with a virtual surround sound? You might be better off going that route and saving yourself some money. Um, like I said, the difference is not humongous to be worth the money, but it's close enough that it's not really you know worth the money at all you might be better off with what you have right now um people who who, who are already using virtual surround sound you already know what i'm talking about and when you compare it to dolby it's not humongous it's not a big change if the cost of the app was 6.99 4.99 great if it was $12, $15, or actually more like a $12 with equalizers and test software to go with it, not just, you know, the app or the actual driver for it. I, you know, those niceties at 12 bucks would have been great. At 20 bucks, I would have expected a lot more. So it's a little disappointing in that sense. So if you want to go, if you don't have a motherboard with good virtual surround sound or headphones without good virtual surround sound, go and get yourself um, the Dolby Atmos app. Or, and it's right, it's available, it's, I mean, it gets installed by default, the actual app. It makes you pay for it once you, or it gives you a 30-day trial to check it out. And then if you like it, you can pay for it. But again, if you have a good set of headphones like from Corsair or from Logitech that have built in Dolby and DTS, you don't need this app. It's already built into the headphones. It's built into, actually not into the headphones, the USB DAC that comes with it, which gives you better sound quality and it gives you the, the true Dolby and DTS surround in it. So all games will take advantage of that. So that's about it, really. I mean... You can go either way, but I would say either pick up a uh, set of headphones on sale with surround sound built into it, or use the virtual surround sound that came with your system. If you got none of that, then pick up the Dolby app, but I think it's a little bit too expensive for what it is. But 
like I said, if you have no choice and you want to, you know, experience surround sound, which is a must for all gamers, a must, okay, a total must for all gamers. Um, so pick it up. But that's it. Uh, this is episode fourteen. I'm Johnny Z for Z Tech News. Um, there's no real news for today. Um, just a quick thing. What we're, what I'm seeing in the store coming in now? New Z390 motherboards coming in. Um, for the uh, ninth generation ugh, again, ninth generation CPUs. What happened? We just had Intel eighth gen. Now we're moving to ninth gen. Ugh, this competition thing with with uh, AMD is getting out of whack. It's, things are changing too fast for the sake of changing and not for the sake of us gamers. And um, uh, RTX, Nvidia RTX uh, 2070s are in. They're roughly around the 600 mark range. Uh, what else have we seen in the store? That's about it. Uh, SSD dri uh, drives and uh, M.2 drives are plummeting in price. Things are cheap. So if you got a newer motherboard or if you want to upgrade a laptop or your machine, pick pick up an SSD now. Best time to buy them. Uh, anything else? That's about it right now. Anyways, once the holidays come in, once the holiday season is starting and we start getting a lot of new stuff, I'll report, be reporting more of that news that way. Anyways, Johnny Z, episode 14. Follow us on Twitter, New Z Tech. And I got a burp. And that's it. Anyways, everybody out there, take care.